So here the Hasselblad. Hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Chris Coos, uh, Hasselblad Training Manager. And I'm here to talk about the three new lenses that we launched at Photokina. So what are those? So the first one is our 80mm 1.9, so a nice fast aperture, fast autofocus lens. Twin motor design to enable uh, fast autofocus. So this is uh, all for your X1D medium format? Yeah, all, all three of the lenses are to extend the range of the X1D. How many lenses total will it be? There's eight lenses now. So earlier this year we launched the 21mm super wide, uh, and now we've added the three lenses this time to complement. So how much is this lens? So you're looking in the region of 4,000 euros. And the camera is? Uh, 7,900 Seven euros. And, uh, so what's the other one you have here? So we have a 135 telephoto lens. So that's equivalent to a sort of 105 in full frame terms. But it looks, it looks great. The corners look great. There's no... So again, 2.8 aperture. And then we also have the 1.7 dedicated teleconverter. It's full aperture, okay. What's the optimal? And that gives this an, an increase up to 230 millimeter. So where, where would you plug that in? So basically, it plugs in. Oh, that's that. Like that. Then that mounts onto the camera. All right. And uh, how much is that? Uh, the complete package, again, is uh, 3,990 euros. So is that good for... Uh... So, obviously the 135 is uh, good for a, a short telephoto for portrait shots, and then obviously for a, a longer focal length, up to 230, obviously the, the, the full combo is designed specifically for that, so tight head crop or longer working distance. And the, the F... Uh... So it's F2.8. Obviously with the converter we get a 1.5 stop reduction. All right. And uh, this so, one? So the final one is the 65mm 2.8. And this is equivalent to a 50mm standard lens, basically. Uh, so what kind of customers do you have for this kind of camera? A whole wide range, to be honest. Uh, the basic camera can be used as a backup camera for our H customers. But it's also designed, because it's so small and compact, to basically be used as a, as a travel camera. Travel, or travel, you know, or, or landscape photography, anywhere where you, you know, you want a, a lighter weight camera to people, carry around for a longer time. Do people use this uh, for weddings? You can use it for weddings, and especially now we've got the uh, 1.9 aperture. You've got the lifestyle type shots where you don't want to use a flash. This is perfect. Nice. Uh, and uh, just to check around, so it, it has. Uh, when was this released? The main camera was released in uh, 2016. Amazing. And obviously, since then, there's been many, many firmware updates to add new functions and features. Nice. Is there a partnership going on with DJI? Yeah, we have a strategic partnership with DJI. And obviously, we've uh, recently been working with them on the latest Mavic Pro 2 drone. So there's a Hasselblad designed uh, camera, optics, and uh, algorithm, color algorithm on that. That's why you're just uh, opposite the DJI booth right here. And uh, how about, uh, does this one do video? Yep, so the X1D will do HD video. Obviously, our, our larger H cameras with the 100 megapixel sensors will do 4K. And I, I All right. thought to myself I could do an average. It didn't work. 